How's it going, guys? It's Boy Just Stone, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld, episode two. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, we have started our colony. Uh, we are, you know, here with our three colonists, Jeff, Rye, and Kragox. And uh, we're going to see what the game throws at us. And uh, beyond that, we are constructing our first structure. Which, as you might guess, is just going to be a... Uh, a little like basic structure. What is Rai doing? He's hauling, which is super good. That's very, very good to see. That it's already percolating out in the the way I would want. Some of them are hauling. Some of them are. Oh, now they're sleeping. Okay. Well, you know that's fair. They have to spend their first night out in the open, but that's kind of to be accept, uh, accepted or expected. I I can't really speak today. I'm not sure why. We're gonna say we want to chop the wood out of honestly like this whole area. Not only that, but also out here. You'll see why my, I have that reasoning later on. They're not sufficiently grown. Lovely. Basically, I want the wood over there to be cut so that we are uh, when we have our kill box, there's no cover for enemies to hide behind. Uh, we have the. I also have this little thing that you can turn on the options where you. Uh, or not the options, but down here at the bottom where you can look at. Um, you have like a organized way to look at your resources, which I really like. We have these meals, they just haven't been uh, done yet. There's War Hall. We'll, we'll start working about like zones and areas in this episode probably. But for now, let's just focus on actually getting our house set up. Um, we're also, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and do this now. Uh, furniture, and we're gonna go ahead and start putting our beds in. Um, I'm gonna have them on I'm going to try to put them all on one side of the wall so I can leave the other space open. And we'll have four beds because we're going to have, you know, have another one eventually. Um, we can build an animal sleeping spot probably, uh, or an animal sleeping box. Let's do that. Let's give our, our bed a box. Not that they have really like a mood to worry about, but still, might as well. Okay, and this is going to be... So he's going to build that. Rye is chopping down trees, and Jeff is, he's hauling meals. That's pretty good. That's about actually what I would be having them do manually if I was going to order them around. So uh, that one will be Kragox, this one will be Rye, and this one will be Jeff. Are they all males? They're all males, so they shouldn't have any, like, rebuff things or whatever. They're not going to try and hit on each other. Um, shared bedroom is going to suck. Pessimist? Very joy deprived. Wow. Okay, so Rye is gonna have, probably have some mood issues at some point, but new colony optimism. That's funny. He has new colony optimism while he's a pessimist. But uh, regardless, let's go ahead and um, we do need to get some sort of uh, some sort of way for them to, to produce food going soon. Who do we have as our grower? We have Kragox as our main grower, which is really good. He's definitely gonna be finding a lot of work there. Um, okay, so there's a couple things we should do now. First off... First off... Okay, well, first things first. We we have this wood is being chopped, so that's good. What is Kragox doing? Hauling silver. Hauling silver. Hauling wood. So they're going to be hauling a little bit. We have some... Don't eat my... Okay, you better not eat my meal. But, uh, basically, yeah, we're gonna wait till they, they're all harvesting this wood and the steel. That's good. Basically, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and start getting ready for, you know, getting ready for some stuff. So, uh, what we'll do is first we'll put a, you know, a little table in here. This is gonna be their dining area. Um, we'll also put some dining chairs. You know, why not? We have four places to eat. And then we only have three colonists, so that'll work for a while. Um, we're also going to make sure that we have a fueled stove up here. Um, that's going to be crucial, I think. And well, one of the things we should do early on is start getting power. You know, start re getting ready to have some power production things. But um, Jeff is cleaning up. That's good. Kragox is building. Okay, it's already it's already nighttime again, basically. Um, we should put a, probably a lamp, a standing lamp, no, we'll do a torch lamp, 
Um, and we'll put that, you know... Oh, he failed while constructing a dining chair. Oh, no. You know, it's not a big deal. But we'll go ahead and, uh... We'll get everyone to go to sleep. Everyone should be sleeping in a second. Yeah. And... Warhol, you know you're allowed in here, right? Um... Unrestricted for now. We should go ahead and put them, train them to do, you know, be obedient, train them to rescue, and train them to haul. So that's what we should do. We should definitely do that. Um, get them a training, and we'll wait. And tomorrow, we're really going to start digging into this uh, this colony and, and figuring out what we're doing. You know, it's going to be a while, I think, until we get ready for raids and stuff, but. For now, I think we're doing all right. Um, first things first, I think we should need defenses. Yeah, this is true. We need a meal source. So yeah, so we need we have a stove building, but uh, but we do need at the same time we we really need to. Well, how much steel do we have to start with? Only thirty steel. That kind of sucks. So Jeff is gonna cloud watch until like eight o'clock, I believe. So. Let's just wait a little bit. They're relaxing socially in there as well. Um, they're going to eat. They're all going to eat. Okay, and that's decent enough. Now they are also going to be... So now they're going to start building. Um, basically, what I think I want to do is... Rye is idle. So, Rye, what do you have for work? Rye, you can, you can mine, right? No, you can plant cut. Why aren't you... Why aren't you cutting these plants? Um, it's weird. Either way, tell you what, let's go ahead and expand our home area. This might be part of it. He's probably not expanding it because it's not inside our home area, possibly. Uh, and we'll go ahead and say that our home area extends out to, like, here. And then all the way, uh, well, that'll be good for now, I think. But we could actually claim this structure up here. We may do so, but for now, let's just have it like that. Yeah, so he'll chop that wood now. Jeff is relaxing socially, so um, because he doesn't have anything, let's look at Jeff. So he is mining. Yeah, he's a miner. We need to get him some stuff to mine, and we're going to do that right now, I do think. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him an order to mine this, like, compacted uh, machinery. No, not compacted machinery. Uh, steel. He's going he's gonna to mine out this steel here. So he should just run over there to do that. He's not the best miner right now, but he's gonna, you know, he'll get better. And we'll watch for a little bit, just as long as we keep checking to make sure that they're not done. And people are already gonna be hauling it now, too, so that's good. Just do that whole area, I guess. It's a lot of steel, which is really, really lucky for us. Um, We'll go ahead and add a bill here. We'll say, cook simple meal. Uh, basically, do until you have, like, like 60. We just want to keep making meals until we have that number. If we can ever reach that number, then we'll be okay, I guess, to do other stuff. But for now, that's what we want to do. Unfortunately, we don't really have any way to make meals. We don't have any way to refrigerate meals. And that's going to be our next uh, concern. Our next order is going to be... Our next order of business, rather, is going to be to come up here. And we're going to make a refrigerator. This is something that you have to do early on, basically. Uh, or else you're screwed. And we'll have a door there. So, you should make a door there. There we go. You'll roof it up automatically, which I'm, I'm so glad that they do that. Um, and we'll also say that he will mine. One thing to keep in mind is that the mountain can actually... Um, collapse if you don't have enough support. So you have to have sh support like struts every once in a while. We have a visitor. A war chief from the Orange Cave people is visiting the colony. He is just, he's a male archer. He's a chief. I don't know if, I don't think that actually means he's their chief though. But that is very interesting. Uh, we have a whole bunch of steel down here apparently that we can be using. Set these as hall orders. Interesting. Well, Jeff, or not, not Jeff, Kragox is organizing this already. So this dude is just, he's just visiting? I 
that's interesting. I mean, I guess that's fine. I just hope you aren't getting intel then used to, you know, destroy me later on. But everyone should be going to sleep now. Okay. Luckily, hey, a chunk of spacecraft has fallen from the sky. That's really good. Um, basically, I think at this point, oh, he ate our meals, you little dick. Oh, he's got it. All he got is a bow. We could try to murder this dude. But that actually, I do think that would actually probably make this faction not like us. Okay, I one thing I've never actually looked at this screen. Apparently, there's these screens that there's this screen that actually tells you everything you need to know, and I've just never looked. That's really interesting. So certain people are enemies with other people. These ones seem to be like the okay ones. There's a tribe and then two towns that don't like the pirates. And then are also enemies with each other. These guys are only enemies with the pirates. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll have to try to ally them later on if there's a way to do that, which I believe there is. Um, 2F Jeff thinks that you should give this community a name. We'll name this YouTube Stream World. That doesn't really make any sense. You'll take all of this YouTube World. It just sounds kind of weird, but whatever. But it's, it's called YouTube World. Let's wait till everyone wakes up and eats their meals. And then we're going to go in and get to work on this uh, thing up here. So let's go in and add a couple of orders. First off, we need to do power. We have to get a, you know, a good bit of power ready so that we can uh, actually have power in the future. Part of this is going to actually involve having a battery room. Um, I'm not sure exactly. It, it doesn't really matter where we put the batteries. We should have them fairly close to our colonists, though, so they're going to beat out any fires if they explode or anything like that, because they can't explode. Have it be over there, and then maybe put a structure, put a wooden wall out to there, and up to there, and then a door there. There you go. And that'll be a good order for now. And then, uh, well, we can keep going. Let's, let's just add more, you know? No reason not to. They'll get around to it whenever they can. Um, so we'll have batteries there, and then we're going to start building wind turbines. And basically, wind turbines are really useful in conjunction with farms, because they just help to zone stuff out. So what we'll do is we'll make, like, a wind turbine here, and we just want we want to have it in a good area. So, like, we want it, it, it's supposed to not be blocked out, basically. And trees do block it out, but, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Basically, this all, this all boils down to where do we want to have our farming areas be. And I think we want them to have them closer rather than far away. So maybe we build one here. Yeah, okay. So let's build one here. And then one there. And basically what we're going to do is to start, we're going to make some farming areas here. So I believe it's like someone left like in the, the in the range of that. I guess we can't look at the range until they're built. Uh, but we're gonna make potatoes here, and probably rice down below. Like so, six by like, yeah, by that much. That should be good. And we'll make that rice. Do we have any heal root? Does anyone do? Do you have a growing skill? Of eight? Yes, you do. All right, heal root is actually more important, I think. Honestly, it is. So we'll start working on this. Rai should start, you know, chopping down all this wood. He, it's going to take him a while, but that's okay. Um, who was our grower? We had Kragox, right? Kragox is a constructor and then a grower. Okay, so he's constructing now. Okay. Hopefully we have enough steel to, to do all this. Yeah, we have more than enough steel. Jeez. No, oh, that's our components, not steel. Oh my god, we have a 600 friggin' steel. Okay, so we should have more than enough. This is blocked off. Blocked by poplar tree. Okay, so first off, I think we should get all this stuff. We do need a, a dumping zone for junk. And I think we'll put it, like, right in this area. You know, it's not too far... Um, it's not too far. It's also not really growable for the most part. So, like, everywhere from, like, here to, like, up to t to there, you know? It, it needs to be fairly big. So that's a fine, you know, that, I think that's a fine dumping area. 
Uh, we'll maybe we'll delete it up to here. Keep this area clean. You know, just shave off a little off the edge there. But I think that's fine. Have that be the dumping area, and we should also we should do this. All right. So allow rotten, no food. So no food goes there. We want no apparel, weapons. No, don't put weapons there. Just put chunks, stone chunks. Do not put steel slag chunks there. Don't don't put corpses there either. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, you could put mechanoid corpses there for now. Um, down in this stockpile zone. Okay, we need this stuff to say. No, no human-like corpses. No. Do, do we want that? Also, there's this uh, tip tab thing up here, but I don't really use, need that right now. I may le later on when I fight, you know, start finding new stuff. Uh, we should say chunks, allow steel slag chunks. That'll be nice. A mad animal, a local hare has gone mad. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with this in a second. Let's go ahead and take everyone, draft them up, Put them over here. I right, and we murdered it. That's basically all you have to do. Not not hard at all. Uh, we should, while we have no one here, we should make this a medical bed. So Rai's gonna go rest real quick. Shouldn't take more than a split second, you know. Um, what is Jeff doing? Digging at slate. Good, fair enough. Kragox is he's growing potatoes. That's really important. So I'll let him do that. This is probably what's blocking the uh, the stuff here. Yeah, we should say chop that wood down. Why, why, why? You know, chop down all this wood that's, that's there. We don't have a lot of meals right now. That's okay, that's okay. Ooh. Did I mean to do all that? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay, yeah, we're good. Um, real quick, before you, before I forget, put that there. Put that there. Yeah, there you go. Kragox will build that up right away, which is good. We will also go ahead and do power, do a power conduit from here. It sucks. It's not good to have it outside, by the way, so we'll try to get it in this wall as soon as possible and then hook it up to the grid. And he should do that real quick. Ah, uh, he should do that, like, first thing tomorrow. Two wind turbines, at least once we clear them out, should be pretty good as well. Rye is busy, you know, chopping down wood. He's a, He hasn't gone to bed, I'm surprised. He's, he's gone to bed. Yeah, just chop it down. Don't, like, you don't need to harvest it or whatever. It's not really harvesting, I guess, but, uh... You know, what, what am I thinking? Chopping down? Yeah, it's more like cutting down. It, it, it does count as separate, which is weird, I know, but, you know, whatever. But anyways, it's... it's. I think we're doing all right. We're going to say this is going to be a hauling order. Yo, aren't you supposed to go to bed, Rai? Oh, you know what? It was because he rested in bed before. So he wasn't tired. Okay. It messed up his sleep cycle. I really like stuff like that. The fact that it can actually be dynamic like that. like the, They know what they're doing, you know. The, the colonists in this game know what they're doing. They know how to take care of themselves as long as you let them. So Jeff is going to go and dig at some slate. That's good. Jeff, he had he was the one who had, like, the main... Yeah, he, had a, he has a passion for mining. By the, you know, by... In, you know, fairly soon, he should be really good at it. He's actually already really good at it, which is really awesome. Uh, Kragox is going to go and build that. Jeff, what are you doing now? Digging at compacted steel. Good. We need you to do that, so good. Good, 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 good. I also, I do believe that mining at the walls like this, mining at these areas, uh, at air, like, um, what am I trying to say? Digging into the mountains, I do believe can lead to bad stuff, like nests, insect nests spawning inside your base, but, you know, we'll deal with that when it, when it happens. Okay, we're starting to store up a connection to our battery. It's running almost at full speed. Hey, there we go. Now it's no longer blocked. That's good. Yep, yeah, they, they don't seem to be blocked anymore, at least. That's good. Um, 
basically now we're gonna go ahead and say this is indoors it's considered indoors we're gonna say temperature we need a cooler um, and we might actually put a couple right away we have so much steel right and components yeah we have enough I'm actually gonna go ahead and put three coolers and you may be saying why that's crazy later on we're gonna get a heat wave and it's not gonna be so crazy then trust me so we'll say cooler 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 it, 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 yeah, it, it is a little inefficient, but let's do it sooner rather than later so we just don't have to worry about it later when it's crucial. It could be crucial later. Wanderer joins. A villager named Roni has arrived and is joining the colony. Sweet, we got our first female. What is she up to? She is... Okay, so let's look at Roni. She is... Incapable of caring and social. Honestly, that could be worse, as long as you can haul. <laughs> She's really good shooter. She's good with... Decent with... An eh, you know, she's and with animals, and with with uh, cooking. Good with construction, has a burning passion for it. Good with mining. Good with crafting and good with research. This seems like a really good character uh, to have in our current situation. I don't know about in general, but at least for now, she seems pretty alright. Basically, because... Oh, she's also really good at hunting. You know what? We'll have her be our full-time hunter now, I think. And Jeff will go down to being a 300, because he's already got other stuff to do. He's our, you know, number one cleaner. Um, and we might actually, we might, what we might want to do is actually make mining a two. And Yeah, let's do that. It'll help in the long run. She's So she's really good at constructing, and she has a burning passion for it. So what could, we'll say construct and repair whenever you can, you know? Kind of like Craig Ox, you guys will be interchangeable there. Uh, you're actually about as good as Craigux is when it comes to tailoring and smithing. So what we'll do is we'll have one of you instead. We'll have that like that. We're gonna have you guys be switched off for now. Um, so now you're gonna be our full-time tailor. And if Craigux is not, then maybe we'll have you do that. Yeah. Uh, but mainly you're gonna be after you hunt and construct. Then I would like to have you probably haul and then and then maybe clean if there's any cleaning that needs to be done and then research should be like a two so then you'll so you repair and then you'll tailor and then you'll research as long as we have one person researching out of these three it'll work fine and we're not in a big rush for research right now later on we'll want it but i think that's good okay roni get to get to work you know do whatever you need to do you're also not super clothed so you should try to fix that as soon as possible. But we also have no food, so we need to hunt something. Roni, she does have a gun, actually. I didn't realize that. E Emu is attacking. Well, good luck with that when you're dead. Who is the... Oh, we don't have a butcher's table. Okay, that's right. Okay. All right, we need to put a butcher's table in, like, right away. I'm just gonna do that. Um, butcher's table, and normally I just, I honestly just put the butcher's table in right inside of the, you know, inside of the freezer because there's not a huge reason not to. Um, your target temperature in here should be like 24 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, if you're, you know, if you use Celsius, which most of the world does, then I apologize, but uh, I had it on Celsius for a while, and I can handle that. I just mostly really wanted. Yeah, I just really wanted to make it consistent, so. Anyways, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say stockpile zone. I do need to end this video in a second, but I'll make this one a tiny bit longer, maybe. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to say this is where this is going to be of important. This is going to be of critical importance that you drag. No, clear all. Let's just say clear all. All food goes in here. Um... Yeah, all food goes in here. All... Sure, you know what? That that stuff can go in there too. And then all beyond that... Weapons, I don't really care about. Apparel, I don't really care about as much. Corpses, we want all animal corpses to go in here. Mechanoid corpses, we don't care about. Um, we don't want human corpses in here. But yeah, all animal corpses go in here. And we're going to say no rotten. So food, corpses, and that is all food, right? Yeah, all food. Um, meanwhile, we're going to say in here, 
Um, we're going to say no food. And we'll say... We should have probably no corpses here as well. We'll say no... Is that all? Food? I guess just food. Yeah, right. Yeah, we, let's see. We have this one. Food. Animal corpses. Yes, animal corpses are not allowed. Good. And that's it. And other raw resources. Don't do plant matter. Have that not be in there either. There we go. And that should mean that now any food we have will be put right into there. So, Roni, what are you working on now? Building a cooler. Kragox, you should also be... Yep, you're going to do that. Nice. There we go. It's all working out as planned, as intended. You hauled that. Don't eat the emo, please. Emo? Yes, I called it an emo. Kragox is going to build this. Alright, we're going to add a bill here. Add a bill to Butcher Creature. Do forever. And that's going to be at the top of the list. Yeah, don't butcher human-like corpses. Um, and so who was our cook? It was Rye, right? Rye is our number one cook. So we need to take Rye... No, don't do that. Prioritize butchering here, please. I would really like to make some meals. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna make sure you do that. And then I also want you to... He's gonna butcher again. Uh, yeah, now they're just gonna eat meat. No, no. Prioritize cooking, mate. There you go. Cook a little bit. I'm gonna make you prioritize that until we have, like, four meals. I know you need to sleep. But prioritize until you have five, actually. Okay. And there I'll say clear prioritize work. Because now you'll eat that and then you'll go to bed. Sweet! Okay, we have enough food for... Oh, crap. My bad. I forgot to set Roni's bed up here. Okay, but anyways, this is going to be it for this episode. I think we're looking at like, a good spot. We have a way to store meals now. It's 25 degrees in here, so our cooler is working as intended already. That's good. That's huge. Um... Basically, we're gonna have this is gonna this is gonna make sure that all of our um, this is gonna be this is good. We have a way to store meals and keep them cooled. We have a way to you know uh, to cook meals. We have a way to get food for that. In fact, we even have plants for that. It's only spring. We have this dumping area over here. We have more stuff that we're gonna be doing soon. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next episode where we'll start working on possibly, you know, getting a, um, start working on possibly getting our individual rooms set up, possibly getting our defenses set up. Like I said, I think we're going to dig into the mountain. I'm not sure which way, but we'll probably have, like, some housing along here and then maybe build a tunnel in this way and have more housing in this area and then another tunnel you know, leading off a different direction. We'll figure it out. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like, a, like and subscribe for more, like I said. And uh, feel free to leave um, comments in the, you know, in the comment section below, giving me tips. Either way, I'll see you guys next episode. So until then, goodbye.